Now for the safety of all drive-in participants, ETSU is asking that moviegoers keep doors closed and pull in with vehicles facing the front. Among other guidelines, the CDC recommends wearing a mask and social distancing at least six feet apart. For some students with health concerns, being stuck inside is part of everyday life during the pandemic. With the university's announcement that around 80% of classes will remain online for the spring, students won't be saying goodbye to Zoom anytime soon. Now, remember that the triangle does not automatically mean that an object is recyclable. For that, you'll need the numbers 1 or 2. Now, meal plans give students a variety of options without the preparation and cleanup of cooking. But dining options are going to look a little bit different this fall. While the state of Tennessee's guidelines on preventing the spread of COVID-19 include no more than 10 people dining together and tables six feet apart, Associate Dean of Students Leah Adenolfi says they have gone beyond those rules at ETSU. We have seen so many institutions close after reopening um, because they've had outbreaks on the campus. Not only are tables limited to just two people six feet apart, each used table is marked with an X until cleaned. Self-serve options have been eliminated, and Adenolfi says staff also missed the area with a chemical substance and deep clean each night. Though remaining wary of the virus, student Caitlin Brown says, It seems like they have a pretty good system going on in there. Uh, they've got somebody working the drink machines, like pre-pouring, and they've got plastic utensils up there. We're just doing everything we possibly can to try to minimize contamination, minimize the spread. Um, and keep students here for as long as we can. Adenolfi notes crowd control and overflow seating has not been needed. With this new sort of online environment, students aren't all coming at the same time anymore. They really are spread out all day long. Though the new measures come with some trade-offs. I think that this is the thing that is um, the most heartbreaking of the whole COVID situation is the fact that we're unable to create community in the way that we have before. But she says students are still finding ways to interact. It's not non-existent, it's just different um, and it's challenging. So we're, we're working real hard to try to overcome some of that. A new option for students is to use a mill swipe at Chick-fil-A, Steak and Shake, or Rogers Buck Mart for to-go options during lunch hours, which helps to reduce foot traffic. The Culp has designated eating areas, and all undesignated areas, such as carpeted areas, require that you wear a mask. Reporting for Buck TV News, I'm Sydney Wright. For students returning to campus this fall, plastic recycling is limited, numbers 3 through 7 to be exact. Things like plastic bags, egg cartons, and yogurt cups can no longer be accepted. ETSU Director of Sustainability Kathleen Moore spoke about the issue. We really are now forced to look at our waste. We can't just send it to someplace else and it just kind of goes away. Now it's in our face. The problem further complicated by a fire at ETSU's vendor, Carter County Recycling Center. Currently, we are stockpiling it. Um, there's a misnomer that we are throwing it away. We are not. Now Moore said the vendor is set to start picking up again in one to two weeks. But the larger problem. Mainly it's because countries that we used to send all this junk to eventually, all this stuff, just said, we don't want your stuff anymore. Plus, there's been a collapsing of the recycling market where the prices are down so low that one and two are the most valuable plastics. They're e they can easily be broken down and made into other products. The department offers mixed recycling and student workers sort through it all. We want to make it as easy as possible for people to recycle so that's not a barrier. So we take care of that our re at our recycling center. Moore recommends cleaning any food or tobacco products before recycling and being aware of non-recyclables contamination, as well as reducing and reusing. Now, remember that the triangle does not automatically mean that an object is recyclable. For that, you'll need the numbers one or two. We need everybody to be involved. Moore said innovators in the area are working on a solution to bring back plastics one through seven recycling. Reporting for Buck TV News, I'm Sydney Wright.